Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Outer Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are testing and comparing two different solid fuel tablets, one by Espit and the other by Expedition Research. This is not a sponsored video. We purchased all these items ourselves and we'll put product links down in the description. For both companies, the tablet weight that we're testing is 14 grams. Both tablets are made of hexamine that is compressed into tablet form. Hexamine is vulnerable to water, to moisture, so they both come in watertight seals. The Esbit has a foil backing. The Expedition Research has more of a plastic backing. Commonalities of solid fuel tablets are that they are smokeless and aren't supposed to have a residue. Espit says that their 14 gram tablet will burn for about 12 minutes. Expedition Research that this will burn for about 15 minutes. Shelf life, Espit claims 10 plus years. Expedition Research, 100 years. Espit says that their fuel tablets burn at a temperature of 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Expedition Research says theirs burn at a temperature of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Both are supposed to be able to be ignited by a match or lighter. We're gonna try also crumbling or flaking them to see if we can get them to catch a spark. We're also gonna see how long each burns and how long it takes each to boil 16 ounces of water. Let's open them up and see what they look like. These are the Espit. They are scored so that each tablet in the blister pack can be torn off separately. The Expedition Research does not have that same feature. Vespit has a crystalline texture on the surface. It's almost like, it feels sort of like sugar. Oh, and it stinks. It's, it smells a lot. Oh, a whole lot. Folks have said that the hexamine fuel tablets have a fishy smell, and I would say that when out of the package, it's especially noticeable about the Espit. You could tell there was a slight odor when it was in the package. This is the Expedition Research. It is not scored on any surface like the Espit is. It too has that same, almost identical, grainy feel, dusty feel on the surface. They both smell. I didn't notice the Expedition Research odor when it was in the packaging. The Espit, I put the It's packaging inside a Ziploc bag to help contain the smell. Let's cut them and see what they look like. Okay, that one completely shattered. The Expedition Research is much more dense and it's snapped directly in two. The Espit is more crumbly and therefore crumbled into multiple pieces. There's no need to break up the tablets to use them. Literally, we were just trying that out to see what, if any, differences there were. Since we have these two tablets broken up already, let's see if we can light them with a spark. This is not something that either manufacturer recommends or suggests that you can do. But some folks have said that it works, so let's give it a go. First, let's try the Expedition Research. The reason for this test is to see if we can get the powder to take a spark, and then that would burn long enough to ignite a larger chunk. It is burning. Cool. So with the Expedition Research, if you make it into a fine powder, you can get it to ignite with a spark. Yes, it has gone out. Now let's see if we can get Espit dust to take a spark. It tries to burn. It seems to melt just ever so little bit, but it doesn't catch. We at least got a flame with the Expedition Research. First, we'll start with the Espit. Have our 
timer. For consistency, we'll put the water on when the flame burn has reached one minute mark. One minute has passed. We have steam. We have small bubbles forming. At right about the five minute mark, which means it's been on there for four minutes. For consistency, we'll go to kind of a rolling boil if we can. It's a warm day here today. It's right around 85 degrees. We're at six minutes, 40 seconds overall. We are at eight minutes in, which means we are seven minutes in to see if we can get a boil. And we're getting more and more bubbles on the bottom. We're at 11 minutes in, which means we've been trying to boil the water for about 10 minutes. We don't have a rolling boil yet. It's been 13 minutes, 14 seconds. The water doesn't look like it's going to do anything more than it's already done, so I'm going to take it off so we can look at the tablet. Mm, yep, and it's almost gone. And that is it. Total burn time for the ESPIT, right under 15 minutes. As far as residue on the bottom of the pan, there really isn't much at all. I forgot to take a shot of the bottom of the pan before starting. These little spots were on the bottom and it had a little discoloration. After the esbit test, I was able to rinse off the residue that was on the pan with just water. It came off very easily. Rinsing off the fuel tablet plate didn't seem to really do too much. So I scraped off the residue that was there with a screwdriver and some of it was able to get off with my thumbnail. So this is what we look like when we're starting to test the Expedition Research tablets. Expedition Research tablet in place. Water ready to go at the one minute mark. With the one minute mark. We are at four and a half minutes. The water's been on there for three and a half. Seven minutes in as far as the tablet being lit. That means we've been boiling the water for about six minutes. We're at almost nine minutes in, which means eight minutes for the water trying to boil. We're at ten and a half minutes in. The water's been over the flame for nine and a half minutes. Tablet's been burning for 12 minutes. We've had the water on for 11 minutes. I think that's as much as it's going to do. So I'm going to take the pan off so we can see the tablet. Yes, we're almost out of fuel. <laughs> Pretty close to 15 minutes. Very similar amount of residue on the bottom of the pan. So I would say the ESPIT and the Expedition Research fuels tablets are very similar in the amount of smoke or residue that they cause on the bottom of a pan. And it's not all that much. 
That's what the little little tray looks like after use. This is what the bottom of the pan looks like after wiping it off with just plain water. Most of the residue that was on there because of the fuel tablet came off. Very similar to the ESPIT. So that's two ounces denatured alcohol. You can light alcohol with a spark. And slit. Okay, we're starting the timer now. Get our water in our pan. We're at one minute. We're about seven and a half minutes in. The water's been on there for about six and a half minutes. Water's been over the alcohol fire for about eight minutes, but right now we have a rolling boil beginning with our alcohol. Water's been on there for just right at eight minutes. So that's more of a boil than we were able to see with the solid fuel tablets. Okay, so we're gonna take the water off minutes 44 seconds this is the bottom of the pan after using the alcohol stove next to no residue I'm a little disappointed in how the solid fuel tablets performed because they were claiming to be anywhere from 1300 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit for a burn temperature I really expected they wouldn't have any trouble getting a rolling boil with two cups of water yet they did both companies, I would say, are spot on in how long they say the burn times are for the respective fuel tablets. And the convenience of them is wonderful. And pros for ESPIT, I really like how their blister pack has the perforations so you can pop apart the separate tablets and carry them that way. Also, the foil on the back of the ESPIT as its seal was much easier to open. I could open it with my fingernail and not have to use a knife. On the negatives for the ESPIT is the smell. Oh my gosh, it is strong. When it's burning, it's strong. It just smells, it just does. And people are spot on that it has sort of a fishy smell. For the Expedition Research, the plastic back, that's the seal on the blister pack, is very, very good at keeping any odor in. Um, when they are both sealed in their packages, you can smell the ESPIT much more than you can smell the Expedition Research. However, because of that plastic seal on the back of the Expedition Research tabs, it, you did have to have a knife to get it open. On the surface, these seem like a very good survival type fire starting or heat providing source, source of fuel. The negatives for that are that you have to have something that has a flame to light it. Um, it will take a spark, at least I could get the Expedition Research to take a spark when I made a dust of it, but it didn't last long. It burned itself out pretty quick. So I'm not sure how reliable that that could be, and it might be a cause of frustration. But if you have a way to light them with a flame, a match or a lighter, something like that, then you're good. The solid fuel tablets, got plenty warm but they never rolled over on a boil so that may be a splitting hairs type distinction but the alcohol did perform better in that manner both of them do leave a residue on the tray where you burn them but it isn't a significant residue as far as residue on the bottom of the pan the solid fuel tablets say that they are smoke free and i would say almost smoke free they did leave a smoky residue on a sooty residue on the bottom of the pan, pretty much equal for both. That was easily wiped off with a damp cloth. For safety and ease of carry, the solid fuel tablets to me are much easier and safer than carrying the alcohol. Down in the comments below, let us know, have you ever used solid fuel tablets? Have you ever used either of these brands? And what did you think? 
Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.